Many coin dealers are sick of seeing this. And listen to me, all my viewers out there, all of my subscribers out there, this is one of the most important videos I've ever done. What I'm going to share with you is some of the vileness that I've seen in it. And I'm doing these videos and I'm doing this particular video to show you I'm not the only coin dealer that is pointing out the fraud and the scams and the double speak in this business, the snake oil salesman, you name it, whatever you want to call it. it. It's not just any one company. There's more than one company and there's other companies that are doing this um, in disguise of basically AARP ads and ads in veteran magazines. And I'm a capitalist. I believe in a free market. Okay. But also believe that there is fraud and unethical activity, especially in the coin hobby and coin collecting and investing. And I don't do these videos and none of these dealers are jealous because of someone making more money than them. So they're reporting on them or complaining about how they're selling. Something else someone says on these types of videos is that there's a sucker born every minute. Barnum did not say that. Look it up. Okay. He did not say that. That was a quote by an actual crook and a con man. I would never quote a crook and a con man to justify why he does what he did. And you can look it up and it's on Wikipedia. You can find out who really said that. Uh, another thing is, is that this is not a buyer beware. This is not that type of situation. Okay. This, what I'm going to share with you has nothing to do with buyer beware because the, you'll find out what I'm talking about here in a second. I want to share some stuff with you. I want people to watch this video. I'm not going to talk about what I'm my website. I'm not talking about all that stuff. I just want you to watch this video. And I want you to share it, but I want you to listen to what other coin dealers are saying besides me about this fraud that's going on. So hang on a minute here. I am in coin dealers helping coin dealers. It's a group on Facebook. A post was started. This is what got this started. It says, I am disgusted with how the scum of our industry prey on the elderly. Yes, they target them in investing in quotes in golden coins. Hashtag enough is enough. These are people who have worked their entire lives saving that money. This is not buyer beware. And it's not buyer beware because they're taking advantage of these the elderly, people who don't know any better or who, are, who have cognitive issues of thinking. And they actually are targets, not customers. There's just not a buyer beware in this situation. They're not stupid. They're not idiots. Okay. You know, anybody can be took in any business if you're not careful. And if you have trouble already thinking or having trouble already trying to make sense of life anymore because you're old and you're laying in a bed somewhere, maybe even oh, just read the rest of these comments. I'm going to share with you, try to keep them in order. Um, I marked out names because I don't have permission to use these guys, so I, I never ask. I just wanted to share this. I agree, it's terrible. Recently had a son that had to hire a lawyer to get his elderly dad out of a monthly program. I mean, come on. A monthly pro If it's that hard to get out of it, there's something not right. Next deal. I see it every day, con artist. This dealer sees it every day like me. I see it all the time. I agree. Horrible. Disgusting. Their tactics should be illegal. I just had one today. Her husband had Alzheimer's. He was being charged constantly over 60K on absolute garbage. I mean, come on. You can't justify this. You can't justify this as someone just getting ripped off a little bit. Yes, I'm sure there's somebody that keeps going back and they, they can think straight, but they just keep thinking they're getting a better deal. They won't listen to nobody because they got too much pride. But this right here is not. Alzheimer's, I mean, you got to think of that. Parkinson's disease, all these different things that could be going on. Dementia. It says here, cases, let's see, I am, I am back to someone who came in six-figure inheritance that was worth 20 cents on the dollar. The last purchase or two was consummated while the person was on hospice and heavily medicated. I mean, come on. Unfortunately, the family was so embarrassed they don't want to uh, put any effort to go after the company. Here's another one. I had a lady come in with coins that her husband paid over 40 K for a telemarketer who made friends in quotes with him. Total value was less than $400. So, wow, that's a new one. And then gold plated nickels, mostly among other garbage. Gold plated. I mean, 40 K, you know, and here's uh, the dealer that started this. Um, I know this guy I I've dealt with most of these dealers. I know him 
pretty much on a personal level at this point. Um, they're honest dealers. They're good dealers. They want to see good things happen in this industry. Um, this is, you know, right here it says, I like to hear anyone that believes $10 liberties in 61 holders, Men's State 61, at 3X Melt is a price you would be comfortable with someone selling your mom, dad, or grandparents answering an AARP ad. Come on. You know, they'll be talking to a specialist, a salesperson is trained to sell potential with wording that can be used, can't be used against the company legally. I mean, we get this, these type of collections in all the time. I had someone come in yesterday selling me all this plated, made up brass stuff with receipts that were literally nothing. I mean, worth five bucks, maybe on the market, maybe $20, something they paid a hundred dollars for their dad passed away. The guy can't even read. He was illiterate. He couldn't read. That's another thing you got to consider. He didn't know what any of it was worth. I explained it to him. I, I showed him things. I, I, I told him what was going on. He was wanting to buy a headstone for his dad's grave. And his stuff was worth pennies on the dollar. I mean, it was hardly anything. It was just that, that junk copper made brass. Some of the stuff will sell on eBay for 5 to 20 bucks sometimes. You know, and, and this little tiny gold... 0.5, 14 karat gold stuff. I just nothing that he, he paid this huge amount of money for his dad did, you know, had he, he knew at the end, he said, man, my dad paid a bunch of money for this stuff and it's just not worth it. You know, and, and that hurts people. They're already grieving for their deceased relative, adding insult to injury, just rub some salt in the wounds. This is not about buyer beware. This is not about all that stuff. People got to share this video. Okay. I made it as short as possible. I wanted to share that with you. This is very important to get the word out. Respect your elderly. Okay. Stop acting like they should, they can't be victimized and act like they should know better and all that stuff. That is horrible to say, you know, I love my dad, you know, he's 86 years old. And, you know, he doesn't do things like he used to. You know, he's a little bit slower about things. He does really good here at the shop. But what I'm saying is, is that they're not the same as they used to be when he was younger. Okay. And to target them, it's so sad. And, and I see the ads in these magazines. I've got the magazines. Guys, I haven't even really got into this all that much um, because I try to keep this about coins. But, man, this has got to get out there. So, anyways, listen, please share this video. Just share it. Okay. What If you do anything, you can thumb it down. You can comment and tell me I'm wrong or whatever, but just share it. Share it with someone that might help them not buy or get in caught up in this, okay? So like I said, I do appreciate everyone watching my videos and have a great day.